Hey, what's up guys, Brian here. All right, I got a really fun video for you guys today. This one is a little bit different. Now, I know you guys out there are all contractors, so we're gonna have a little different conversation today. We're at our property mowing it, homeowner, residential, three acres. So we got a residential grade, zero turn more, but something a little bit different for you guys. So, Mr. Bronson, how we doing? Good. What do we got here, bro? We got some electric. Ego mower. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, were you able to get it going? It took me about three minutes and then I got it. I figured it out. It's totally different, isn't it? Yeah, it's All got right. like an F1 style. Is that crazy? Yeah. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go mow this portion of the lawn. I got some uh, property up here and they got that whole back uh, acre and a half that you guys can watch. But um, what do you think so far, man? It looks like a little fighter jet, doesn't it? Yeah, it's great. I, I can't figure out how to get it in reverse again. Oh, I got it. There you go, you got the R. All right, nice and slow. <laughs> this is kind of scary. It is with the electric motors, you know. Yeah, like nice and easy. It is fast though, isn't it? Like kind of kind of jumpy. <laughs> All right, give us some gas. In full disclosure, Ego sent this over to us. Like, hey, do you want to check out the Ego mower? I said, honestly, I don't have any time. They said, well, it's yours if you want. I said, sure, we'll, we'll take it. I'm sure you guys would say the same thing. So it's their uh, Z6. It's got six batteries. Let's go over the basics for you guys. Uh, stop right there. So if you pop the hood, look at that power plant. All right, so we got six of their 56 volt batteries. And you guys can see, it's actually pretty dope. If you can see the green light, all right, so these are some uh, chunky batteries here. Hold that. What do you think about that? Kind of heavy? Yeah. Not, not too bad. Yeah. If you hit the screen button on top, won't you hit that? Like I just showed you guys can see how oh, it yeah. lights up. Circles. Full R charge. Full charge. Red is dead. Uh, I can prove it to you guys. All, all of them are green. So we'll, uh, we're not going to do a benchmark test necessarily today. Maybe we can do another video for another time and see how much we actually get. They think they rate it for a couple of acres with uh, the four batteries and obviously with more batteries you get a little bit more juice i'll try to leave a link in the description for the product skew you guys can see what every single stat is they have this really cool charge port and charger i got the charger at my house it's like a kind of like a tesla wall charger that you can pop it in there and then also we've got a standalone tower that can charge two batteries at a time let's fire it up really quick let's hear what it sounds like always use proper ppp ppe and uh, safety but we'll get there in a second uh there you go all right, what do we let for the deck height? Uh, let's learn together. Four and a half. Well, let's drop this down. Oh, you can uh, just kind of shimmy it to each spot. It doesn't have like a deck pin. So let's get to like three and a three and a half. I like three that. And half, yeah. And then what do we got? We've got our key. Looks like a phone, phone charger. Holder. I don't know if it charges. And that would be wild Find if it out. if it charges. Does not look like it. Well, that's fine, but that's a little yeah. hol little holder. Hard to get out though with the cameras. It doesn't come out. Oh, easy. kind of kind of like kind of grabs it. All right, here's your start and stop, and then I would imagine your PTO, right? Yeah. All right. It's a blade. Blade. Is there one blade or two blades? It's two blades, 42 inches. I think it said on the uh, platform. Uh, don't quote me. I think it would be called a stamp deck but you can see there's your two motors here yeah i gotta say like aesthetically it actually looks pretty dope yeah it does if you guys are a homeowner what do you got usb it's like oh. a little phone spot all right that's pretty cool Sweet. looks like a magnet's closed it does have some benefits when you get a bunch of battery on board you know a uh, cool looking profile i got those lights it's kind of mean looking isn't it yeah uh and then it looks like you can adjust your seats for a little bit more stiff and uh also got that bar to bring it forward or back i think one of the cooler things is the uh what would you call this the heads up display yeah the uh control all right so why don't you kick those blades give me a give me a pass just like maybe to the fence and back What I can't believe is how quiet that thing is. Just like most battery power mowers, it's almost like you could communicate to people, which is a really cool safety perk. Uh, you know, that way you can tell people to get back or have a conversation and not have to, you know, hit the blades or start screaming at people in your backyard, right? Time check, we're, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes into this backyard. I got a little bit, uh, about an acre back here, making some nice 42 inch wide stripe. It'd be nice if it was a little bit wider deck, maybe a 52 or a 60 inch offering, but hey, 42, not too bad, but it does cut really nice. 
actually pretty awesome. <laughs> Sweet. Is it fast? Yeah, I mean. It's like a battery powered, battery powered go kart with blades, you know? Check that out. All right, we're having some fun here, as you guys can see. It actually cut pretty well. Yeah, it did decent. I'll say not too bad for, you know, we cut this four or five days ago. I got in pretty thick grass, as you guys can see. A couple stragglers, but, you know, we're mowing at three and a half and kind of going pretty fast, you know, pretty bumpy. Oh, yeah. Let me do this really quick because I think a lot of you guys would be curious to know a battery check. We're at 46%. I don't know if it's advertised an acre, two acres, or three acres with a different amount of batteries, but if it's rated for two or three acres and I only got an acre back there with half the battery, I'd say real world testing, at least two acres of mowing. Again, just a quick asterisk there, super bumpy turf it's you know four inches tall if you're mowing in a subdivision with you know three inch cuts with regular turf probably wouldn't have that big of a deal to get maybe two acres maybe a little bit more uh we got the lights running the whole time too so at the end of the day i would imagine perhaps you could get a little bit more juice out of it i do like the uh the mower it is a fun uh ride i will be honest with you guys uh, like i said at the top of the hour I'm, I'm not here to excel you or convince you on it it is a fun ride and it was a smooth mow bronson any any takeaway thoughts oh there's more lights oh that's pretty dope uh, what do you think? If you got like a small yard, like an acre, yeah, I think it's great. There you go. Go do it. And Try it enjoy out. Enjoy it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, this is up to two and a half acres of runtime. So maybe, maybe you can get that two acres, two and a half acres. All right, there you go. There's your actual uh, rating there. So apologize to the Eagle folks. I will say this, uh, the Eagle folks are actually very genuinely kind people. I've known them for a long time. They are one of the market leaders, I guess you could say, in battery powered equipment. Now, to be fair, most of the mowers that I, you know, demo and test out are two and a half times the cost you know <laughs> this thing i think retails plus or minus six grand again don't quote me most of the stuff i'm on are 10 12 15 18 grand these days so for a six grand value package not too bad with the ego mower and a lot of these things go on battery i'd love to hear you guys thoughts about the whole conversation and do me a big solid <laughs> i know a lot of you guys out there are contractors and i know battery is coming down the pike hopefully for the commercial side of the industry one day and you know that whole debate if it's there yet that's arguable for a homeowner though man i was at home depot just the other week yeah. and i swear to god there's 10 different brands with 10 different mowers out there yep. and so for a homeowner i get it i get the allure i get the excitement uh no gas no two stroke no four stroke no uh gas cans in the garage i'm not here to sell there convince you guys on that as contractors but as a homeowner like i do get it i've got my other handheld brands out there with handheld leaf blowers handheld trimmers all the above and so when you start having the conversation about battery powered mowers for anybody with you know an acre or less i totally totally get the conversation so love to hear your guys thoughts leave me some comments down below what do you guys think about the future battery what do you guys think about the ego zero turn mower if you guys are homeowners is this something you would pick up or are you guys staunch diehard gas and petrol engine folks where you want to have that uh, Kawasaki or a uh, Kohler engine powered zero turn in your garage. Let me know in the comments, all right? All right, well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up a time lapse. We're gonna go mow. That's what we do here. And uh, with a little field test, and again, not here to sell or convince you guys on any of the above, but uh, we're gonna put it through the ringer here and give you guys our thoughts in just a few minutes. Let's check it out.